Hi, I'm Noah Bombard with Telegram Studio, and my guest today is Amanda Cote. Uh, Amanda actually has not been involved in the music scene for all that long. You're a relatively new find for us. In our show, sometimes we like to spotlight uh, uh, both established artists and also artists that are kind of new on the scene. Uh, how long have you been playing publicly? Publicly, my first, my first performance was at uh, the Black Sheep Blues Jam back around uh, Memorial Day last year, so since May 2012. Yeah, so right out, right yeah. out of the box. So, you know, you, you've started, you started playing, uh, singing long before that, I assume. Uh, oh, yeah. Tell me about how you kind of got into music. What were your inspirations? Uh, well, growing up, my dad had a big CD changer <laughs> and all that. There was always music playing in the house. We always had, you know, we even had big speakers outside so that we were doing yard work and stuff outside. There was always music going on in the house. You know, it was Jimmy Buffett and the Eagles and Jimi Hendrix. And, you know, it was just a whole bunch of stuff that even as I, I grew up and I was familiar with it, I didn't really fully appreciate it until I got older. And I, I got to thank my dad for really instilling a love of music in me, whether or not it was yeah. intentional. <laughs> yeah, you can see some of those influences, I think, in, in your, your singing. Now, you said it was, it was just about a year ago that you had your first kind of public performance. Uh, what was that experience like? Was it, uh, you know, was it a little scary? Did somebody kind of push, give you the push to, to get up there? And Yeah, my friend Allison had brought me to the jam, and she knew that I was a singer because I, I met her through a band that I had auditioned for in Western Mass. So she brought me to the jam, and the guys called me up, and I'm like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. And she's like, <laughs> so, exactly. And, you know, I felt I could have done a lot better, but everybody there was really sweet, and they enjoyed it, and they clapped and cheered. And yeah. I guess I kind of got the bug and it, ultimately performing and entertaining has been something that I've wanted to do since I was a child. I was never led to believe that I'd be able to successfully pursue music. So, but, but you not only did you get up in that one time, but you've gone from that into a very short time of, uh, of, of booking uh, music gigs uh, in, in Clinton and Worcester and uh, in just the whole area. Um, has that experience uh, changed your perception of where music is in your life? Absolutely. Um, I know, it, you know, fame is not what interests me. I just like to entertain. I g give me your crowd, and I'll, I'll, I'll gladly keep those people happy, keep them drinking, keep them eating. Maybe I'll get them to call some friends down. But um, I, I just love to entertain. And any opportunity that I have to allow somebody to leave the venue in a better mood than they were when they showed up, and. It's just nice to know that I can feel satisfied with, with that, right. and I'm just I'm just happy to be doing what I'm doing, and other people seem to enjoy it as well. And you know, I'll, I'll probably never ever be a headliner name, and that's totally fine with me. I just like singing for people, and it's it's one of the most fulfilling things that I've ever done in my life. Oh, that's okay. You can headline for us here. So. Oh, great. You're, you're <laughs> going to be doing two songs for us today. One, one's a, a cover of uh, Aerosmith. Mm -hmm. The other one's a song that you wrote yourself. Tell us a little bit about that one. Uh, the song is entitled Just a Little Girl. Um, I wrote it actually uh, before I even started uh, performing uh, live, really. I wrote it in November of uh, 2011. And um, it's a song about uh, myself and a, and a friend of mine uh, who we had spent a lot of time together and things you know emotionally wise looked like they might have progressed to another level but it's really just a situ a song about recognizing a situation even as young and naive as I can be um, recognizing that this situation is much over my head and I, I don't I, I can't allow those kinds of bad things to happen. So this song is pretty deeply personal to you. Mm -hmm, is that, very. Uh, is, does that make it, uh, uh, does that improve the experience in performing something that you've written that's personal to you like that, or does it make it more difficult? In a lot of ways it's, it's difficult because it, when, you're, when you're doing songs, especially live, that, that people aren't familiar with, you have to grab their attention and, you know, but it's one of those songs that it's, it's not in the guitar line, it's in the story and it's in the lyrics. Thank you very much. Uh, so now we're going to hear from Amanda Cote uh, singing uh, I'm Just a Little Girl. Yeah, I 
Isn't me?